Is this where the line starts? Depends. What do you mean, where it starts? Like, where is the beginning of the line? My line started a few months ago. When mine started, I was in bed, asleep. The walls were shaking. My parents sat us down and told us why it was a good time for us to go. It was the first time I ever packed a bag. They told me what I should say if anyone stopped me. Plenty of people stopped me. I hid money inside my shoe. I had never been on a boat before. Seen snow before. Slept outside before. Missed breakfast before. I had never missed home before. My line started there too, I guess. Unknown. A little scared, but... You can tell where people come from by how they wait in a line. The less people have, the closer the line becomes until you meet the people who have nothing, who stand so close they begin to overlap. But what? This is the place we're supposed to be now, right? Inshallah, Hadithi, this now, is the place. I guess. And they would try to push us out, and we would ask them each in turn for their papers to join us on the orange raft in the middle of the blue water. I have been so many kinds of lost since I left. Lost in customs. In faces, in forests, on water. I've been lost climbing trains and under tarps. I've been lost in the holds of a cargo truck. Lost in hunger, in drought. In cities. I have been more kinds of lost than I knew. Every kind of lost needs a map. I have been keeping a list of my debts. I owe 17 to the neighbor whose stickers I borrowed. She won't be needing them, but still. I owe the man who told me that the water would carry me if I let it. I owe the breath in 16 people's lungs who took turns blowing into a raft in between whispers. I owe the gold and silver blankets they gave us when we reached the shores when for a moment I was royalty. I owe every one of my uncles who scraped together stories to use at each and every border. I owe my mother for the food she prepared. It only lasted a day, but it will feed me for so much longer. I owe every stranger who smiled at me when I was wearing secondhand clothes. I thought for a moment you had recognized the shirt I was wearing as once yours, and that was almost as warm as home. It isn't there anymore, I said. What isn't there anymore, she asked. Yes, I replied, knowing that whatever she could name, I would be right.